Yeah, um, I think it was Galdi played a long ball into the box. It was over my head, but I tried to, you know, stay on my toes in case it came back across. Seb did a good job getting getting to that one and headed it down. And I was able to just tap it in. First game back that you've started since you were on concussion protocol. Uh, got uh, seventy odd minutes uh, under your belt. How do you feel uh, being able to play an hour plus minutes? And what does that mean for yourself? I guess going into this stretch of games where you know you're still playing games quite consistently. It was good. Obviously, the, the injury came at a time when we hadn't played a, a number of games after League's Cup, so it's been a while since I was able to get you know, a lot of minutes of a proper game in. So it was good to get out there and get, you know, 70 some minutes with, especially with the, you know, the stretch we have coming up. So, um, yeah, we got to turn the page and look forward to the next game. Uh, last one for me. One of the things that was really noticeable in this game, especially for yourself, was uh, between the first half and the second half was the amount of service that you were getting. Was there anything said uh, during the half or anything tactical that switched that kind of allowed you to get on the ball a little bit more? In the set, get on the ball in the second half more. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think you know. Obviously, we missing missing Ryan Gold in the first half. Um, having him in, you know, obviously changes the game a lot for everyone on the field. So, I think we're able to be a little bit more dynamic going forward, having that that kind of player underneath, you know, the forwards to move about and create things. Uh, I think really opened up the game for us more. Thanks, Brian. See you on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Go to Joshua next, please. Hi, Brian. Uh, just uh, your one of your overall takeaways and lessons to be learned from this one. Obviously, disappointing result for you guys. It's a frustrating one. Obviously, we know the kind of talent that they have, especially going forward. Um, and you know, they got to see it really cl up close and personal today, unfortunately. So, I think you know, we'll look at you know, the errors we made to allow them to have so much space and time to, to be able to hurt us like that. And I think offensively, I think there were there are moments where we could have been better. Uh, the final pass decision, getting the shots away. Um, we need to be more clinical in the final third. So a lot to learn from this. Um, and hopefully we can going into the you know stretch we have coming up still. Yeah, you mentioned the stretch coming up, but you got the big one on Wednesday with a chance to win a trophy. And how do you put a result like this behind you so you can prepare Physically and mentally, you do everything. You know, it's it's the it's the job. We we know that this game is behind us. There's things to be learned from, but there's no sense um, ruminating on, on on what went wrong tonight. We have to learn from it and get prepared for the game. And uh, it was a three odd days now against Toronto at home, so it's gonna be a big opportunity for us to win another trophy. And you know, I think everyone's gonna be up for it. Thanks, Brian. See you on Wednesday. Thanks. Thank you, Michael. Next, please. Hey Brian, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. The, uh, the Canadian Championship, a, a lot of players in their career, they never get a chance to, to win any, anything, don't get a chance to win a cup. You've got a chance now to win three in a row. What does this competition mean to you on a personal level? Yeah, like you said, the, you, know, you don't have a lot of opportunities to win trophies. No matter, you know, any anytime you get that chance, you want to do everything you can to win. And, and you know, you don't, you don't look at it as three in a row. You look at it as this is a chance to win a trophy, and that's what we have coming up on Wednesday. So I think everyone's going to be, like I said, everyone's going to be up for it. And, you know, it's going to be a fun night, and hopefully we can come away with a win again. If we look down stretch as well, now obviously, like, you've seen the Galaxy tonight, how potent they were in the quick position and in the attack. But I think the Whitecaps have that now as well in spades with just the attacking threat that you now have. How excited are you for what this team can be with the addition of Stewart and Fafa and Ryan mm -hmm. and Fire as well as yourself just now? Yeah, it'll be good to have you know be on the field. That you know, I turned around and I saw Stu was on the field. I got a little got a little excited that we finally had that that chance to play together. But yeah, I think we you know regardless of the result tonight, I think we are still a very good team. I think you know we had lapses in, in concentration and in, in positioning and execution tonight, um, and. Obviously, to be the best team, to be to win things, we you can't let that happen against a better team. So um, we have to, you know, everyone's going to look, take a look in the mirror, look at what they did wrong, what they can improve, and I think you know that it's only up from here for us. I think we we take what we can for, and learn from this and and become a better team. Cheers, Brian. Safe travels. Thank you, Michael and Brian. That's all we have for you. Safe travels back to Vancouver. Thanks, guys.